think that writing definitely um, was a tool for helping me process the rage of gentrification. Mm. Um, In the beginning, even prose journaling, or did you find more of an attack when you could say, like, Go Mountain is going to be about how we're getting fucked out of our own city? Well, even stuff that I was writing uh, in grad school with Michelle, like short stuff, would always like bump up against that because that was the time where I felt it most clearly. Like I, I had moved away, like to the you know the East Bay or whatever, and so by the time I was in grad school, I had I was now back in the city. Right, right. You know, like I was always coming to the city. It's not like I wasn't in San Francisco, but as far as like living there, I think rooting myself back down. Mm -hmm. um, it was heavy. Yeah. The Google buses, you yeah. know, that was like the beginning of that kind of thing. And because um, it came in waves, you know, there was like the dot com wave. Mm -hmm. But that that was something that you could like see as everything else is still here. Right. And then that second wave in the early 2000s or whatever was it was like, oh, wait, they're, like, in control now. Yeah. They can do whatever they, they want now, yeah. you know? Um, and that was hard for me, you know? I didn't... That powerlessness and mm -hmm. um, knowing how wrong it was and seeing, you know, because San Francisco to me was, like, it was magical, you know, yeah. growing up in the mission and Bernal Heights. Bernal Heights was tucked. It was its own little village up there, yeah. you know? And the mission was so alive as, you know, just spirit, everything, just everywhere you went, mural spirit. That was just like walking to the bus, all these right. things, you know? Right. It's like, right. whatever, that's just life, you know? Um, and so to see that like, oh wait, I have to have a lot of money now to have access to this. Mm. I have to have money to, to live Wild. here. and. That was like, it was like like my body. You know, it's different when you read about things that have happened or class struggle or whatever. But then when it's like you in your body, where you're mm -hmm. from and feeling yourself pushed out and seeing the neighborhood change and seeing who's leaving and seeing that, you know, the it's like a million dollars to live in the barrio now. It's like, yeah. what, what? You know, like, mono it's like Monopoly, but real really happening you know and I had a lot of rage about that and I felt so powerless and helpless and so writing was a way that I could um I mean as you know like I was like killing dogs I was killing in my play murky Gold dogs you know I was I was murderous about it yeah. and writing was a, a way to um to process mm. that psychologically, yeah. I think, you know?